just thought I'd take a couple minutes and go over one of these small Briggs and Stratton engines, uh, something that I've never run into, and that's uh, the actual valves. The push rods not open and closing the valves properly to uh, create the suction to make the, the carburetor suck in the fuel. So originally I thought, ah, it's probably just got some bent push rods or something, but the push rods are okay. And this escalated really quickly. I just had the carb off of it like a few minutes ago and then it ended up just ripping the whole thing apart. So I've seen lots of these with plastic governors and, and that kind of thing. And that's, that's completely normal, but um, I don't work on a ton of small engines, but this is very surprising to me. It's the fact that it that it uses these weeble wobbly little plastic gears. And uh, most importantly, even though that one's keyed and it does wobble around it, it should keep time. But this gear here is uh, not gonna keep time because it must have some sort of flat spot in here. I don't see any timing marks on it other than the actual gear mesh teeth for that. But this is what op operates the valves and the valves weren't always kind of, they weren't really hitting time every time. And uh, eventually it fell behind time and wouldn't create the suction because it wasn't opening the intake valve and the exhaust valve at the right time. It must have a flat spot on it. You can spin this gear, but that also means it can slip right out of time. So I'm gonna have to figure out where that goes on there and try to restake it to see if I can get this to work. It's a Craftsman pressure washer. Luckily, the pump is still good, and there's some usable parts in here. I have some other small engines, so it's not really a big deal, but just thought I'd share that since uh, plastic gears in an engine, it's crazy.